Hello guys, so a couple weeks or days ago, I don't really know, I made a horror movie collection 2023, but now this time, it's my um, horror decorations 2023, so yeah, and this is not just my horror movie stuff, this, um, like my horror movie decorations, this is also anything that's scary, so for example, like, um, what can I show on as, uh, as an example? Um, I don't really have too many things to show. Um, here's this, for example. Like, this is totally, like, non-horror movie related, but I'm still gonna show it. Like, uh, well, I'm probably not gonna show that, but, um, but, um, even if it's not, like, from a horror movie, I'm still gonna show it, you know? Uh, le uh, like that, so, we're gonna do that this year, so, yeah. So, I'm gonna be starting off with my horror movie masks. So, the first one we got is this very old, very old Jason mask. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, it probably doesn't look like Jason, because this is the very old design of Jason, of the Jason mask. Um... This is the old design before they switched it to this one. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, really not, uh, familiar with people. Um, and I found this mask in a basement, so, um, and basements are creepy and dirty, so obviously when I first got this mask, it was really dirty and had a lot of dirt and crap on it. Um, but I washed most of it off, but it still has a little bit on it that I didn't really remove. But, um, yeah, so very old Jason mask design. Next, we got, uh, the modern one. This one, um, I'm always worried about when I put it on my face for a video because, um, it just looks so small that, um, I think it's gonna outgrow my face one day, which I think it will. But, um, I tried it on recently and it still fits somehow and uh yeah i'm always worried that it's gonna outgrow my face which it will but uh luckily not right now so um but even if it does outgrow my face i hope i don't get rid of it just in general so yeah and then we got this one now i think this one's really cool this is a jason mask that lights up i think the this one is still cool but um the light up one is really cool. Uh, so what you do is, um, I don't think I can light it up right now because, um, I need, like, new batteries or something. But there's, like, a button on here that you can, like, press or, like, switch on and it lights up and it looks super cool. Um, I went as Jason one year with that light up mask and it's really cool looking. It's really neat, uh, it's really neat with its, uh, neon colors, but, uh... Yeah, but I still think this one is superior, but this one is still really cool. I like it. And you can add his machete right there. Next, we got Michael Myers. Um, I had to put my face in the mask because if I don't, it just looks really deformed and stupid. So, But this one's actually kind of cool because um, it, it has actual hair to it, which is kind of cool. Um, the only... Uh, the only error with this, though, is you don't want to get any, like, lollipops stuck in there. Or else this hair is going to be on your lollipop. Uh, I don't want to think about that. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's Michael Myers' mask. Then we got the ghost face mask. And uh, there's this full costume. And you can also have his knife there. And then the last mask we got is this Beetlejuice mask. Now... Um, I'm going as Beetlejuice for Trick or Treat this year, and I can't wait for that. Um, but this mask is just, l a, like, a waste of money, and the mouth looks really stupid. And, yeah, it's just, it just looks really dumb. So, um, I'm gonna buy a paint set, uh, with, uh, a green wig. And, uh, we're just gonna do that. And, uh, yeah, there's my Beetlejuice costume right there. So, I'm gonna use this as, um... Yeah, I'm gonna use the suit, but I'm not gonna use the mask, because it's stupid, but... Anyway, next we got my action figures. So first, we got 
the first ever horror action figure I got. This weird looking Jason. And this is really special to me because it's the first ever horror prop I ever got. And it's just really special. Hold on, I think he has his axe. Wait, where is it? Okay, you guys, here he is with his axe. This horror figure is really special to me. So I really hope I never break this or donate it to anybody because I just love this thing. Because it's the first ever horror prop I ever got. And I know you heard that already, but it's just really special to me and I love it. So there's that. <clears throat> Next we got Freddy Krueger. Um I super um I tried to super glue his hat on because it just annoyed me how the hat kept falling off, so um it's, I just super glued it on. Um yeah, I recently found his hat like a couple weeks ago, so that's cool, um, so now he looks complete, uh, little, uh, scratch marks on his pants, ooh, look at those abs he got there, Freddy, so next we got Michael Myers, and his brother, yeah, I have some clones, maybe, so I forgot how I got these two, um, and they both lost their knife, so uh, they look like they're about to punch somebody rather than stab them now. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot how I uh, got the second one, but anyway. Um, yeah, so they, they're just brothers now. The two Myers brothers. Next is Pennywise from 1990 and Pennywise from the 2017 remake. These are both really cool. I really like them. That's kind of all I have to say about it. Next, we got Leatherface. Now, there's two bad things about this guy. First thing is that when I was in third grade, me and my friend Fisher used to play with these horror guys all the time because, well, they're figures. You're supposed to play with them, right? Is that kind of the purpose of them? So anyway, we just played with these dudes all the time, and of course we were third graders and we were just stupid, so we just like threw it all around, we were playing with it, and then, um, we lost his foot, uh, but somehow Leatherface still stands up, so that's a good thing. Uh, and the second bad thing is I did have his chainsaw, but his chainsaw got broken in half, uh, so that's another bad thing, but, um... Yeah, this might be my unlucky, um, unluckiest uh, horror figure ever because his foot got lost and his chainsaw is broken, so he doesn't have a weapon to fight with. But um, still a pretty cool action figure. Um, I don't know why Leatherface is bad, but um, anyway. Next, we got the Demogorgon. Um, if you don't know, he's from Stranger Things. Um, probably all the people know that, though. Um, this is really cool. Really detailed, too. I really like that. Um, uh, I wish I could have got Vecna, but, um, there's only, like, one I could choose between him and Vecna. And this dude is super detailed, so I had to get him. He's actually really cool. He looks, like, slimy in the light, which is cool, too. Um, I remember on his box art, there was, uh, a feature that said he could light up in the dark but i don't know if i believe that or not but um yeah i got this dude in the summer and he's just really cool so i um i really like this and then next you got this rotten gremlin i forgot what you call them when they turn bad but in the movie they turn bad and uh I don't really know what you call them. I forgot what you call them but i think this is the leader of all the bad gremlins uh spike um, this is not a Funko Pop, by the way, if you knew that already. Um, yeah, he has a little, uh, gremlin stand. I really like that he's standing on that for some reason. I just like that display. Uh, yeah. Next up is my Funko Pops. So first, we got this 8-bit Jason. I really like him. One error with this. Can you guess it? His machete is broken. Why do we... 
why do I always break characters' weapons? Then there's Chucky. Um, I got this dude for, uh, Christmas last year? Yeah, Christmas last year. And, uh, he's just really cool, so, I, um, I really like him. Next is Pennywise with his I Love Dairy Balloon. And Pennywise 1990, so I really like these two as well. And then finally for the Funko Pops, Sam from 2007 Trick or Treat. Next up, we got the plushies. So, the first one we got is this big, um, well, not really, <clears throat> uh, so the first one we got is this big ghost face. Um, he also looks really cool if you want to add his knife, which, uh, yeah, looks cool. And, yeah. <clears throat> then we got Michael Myers. I like how the pumpkin is where his nuts is, uh, but anyway... And then we got Freddy Krueger, and, uh, I think this black string is supposed to go around his hat, but, um, it just fell off, so it's like a little black ponytail? I don't know. Just a black ponytail con connected to his hat, but, yeah, I don't have many horror movie plushies, um, yeah, that's it for that. Um, next up we got this, uh, I don't really care about this, but we got, this is a Scream promotion, um... <clears throat> Cause uh, I got this uh, movie where uh, you might have seen it before in my horror movie collection video. If you watch that, um, Scream Two movie collection. It's Scream nineteen ninety six and Scream twenty twenty two. Um, this was on the cover of it, but um, this was just a promotion because I took um the the movie was in like a little case and I took the case out. And, um, I thought this was the cover, but this was actually just a promotion little picture thing, so. Uh, yeah, um, so I'm really not happy about that, but anyway. And then, I don't really know what you call this, but, um, this is, uh, Chucky's girlfriend. I think her name is Carrie. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's Tiffany. Tiffany. Not, not Carrie. What the? Anyway, um. Yeah, so, these are 2D, um, what do you call this, 2D, well, these are 2D little animations, look, look, wait, hold on, yeah, see, L little 2D wink there, so the, um, I went to Alice Tecas, a uh, really great place, um, and they have these, uh, uh, not vending machines, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, those little miniature vending machines. And one of them <clears throat> was, if you put, like, a dime in there or something, you can get, like, one of these 8-bit animations. And, um, I actually have multiple of these. Oh, I think I have a Pennywise one, too. Yeah, here's the Pennywise one. Uh, yeah, his is the balloon popping. Um... Yeah, so, uh, um, I just put one of my quarters in, because it said, like, one quarter, and you get these, and, um, so I put a quarter in, and it's really cool, because th these come in these little eggs, and, uh, you open them up, and it's like a little mystery, like, you don't know what you got, which is a really cool feature, um, so yeah, these are just really cool 2D animations, um, we got this glass Jason cup, that looks like it's kind of spray painted on. We also got this giant Stranger Things World's Turned Upside Down hardcover book. Um, it looks a little ripped, not because it's old, but because um, it just came like this. Um, I think I got this for Christmas present, but it just came like this because um, um, the design was really cool. And they wanted to make it look like it was really old, so they just pretended to like rip it and stuff. Um... But yeah, so it's not actually ripped there, but anyway, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So this book is just like, like, I'm not going to read through like all of it. That's going to take hours, obviously, but it just tells like there's some history in it about the characters and it's just really cool to see. Um, yeah, like it tells about the Wheeler's home, you know, just like about the families and the kids 
um, which I think is really cool, and I was about the hawk and flab and all this stuff, I can go about this on all day, but, um, it's just really cool, uh, book, uh, yeah, it says, don't freak, this book is supposed to look worn and torn, so, told ya, and then a few books I forgot about, we got Stranger Things, Suspicious Minds, Stranger Things, Darkness on the Edge of Town, uh, Stranger Things, Zombie Boys, you can't really see, but, and then Stranger Things Field Guide, so those are a few of those. Friday the 13th poster. Um, we also got these Stranger Things posters. That's Stranger Things 3. That's, uh, Season 1. Season 1, and, uh, yeah. And then we got this Game Over Stranger Things poster, so. I think I got, <laughs> I feel like I have, like, a million Stranger Things posters everywhere, but. Anyways, then. We may move downstairs. So, you know how I said in the intro that it was going to be non-horror movie related too? Well, this section is full of it. So, I don't know if this counts as fall or Halloween. I think it counts as both. But we got this uh, wreath door hanger. And then we got this dude. He's just really old, so... You can remove his hat now because it's broken. Um, he looks really cursed with his hat off though, so let's put it back on. Then you got the two scarecrows. This one, oh, uh, yeah, there you go. And then this one, which I think looks way more cleaner. Then you got these three pumpkins that say bless this home, which is really nice. And then we also got some pumpkins. Um, and then we also got this uh, cup with ghosts and bats on it. We also got this, uh, these orange and black pumpkins, and I think one of them you can use to light a candle with, that one. We also got a candy tray with a bunch of dum-dums in it, and, uh, I don't know if we'll use this at all, but this is, um, a pumpkin, uh, that you can put candy in, and there's a little dude in there. Yeah, I don't think we'll use this as a pumpkin bucket at all, but, yeah. And then, um, we got this witch who used to stand on a cobweb standing thing, but um, it broke in the box, so now she doesn't really have anywhere to sit or stand, and so she just uh, lays down in the pumpkin with the gnome in there. Um, yeah, and then this is just a blank pumpkin with weird white stuff on it. Oh yeah, we also got um, this new decoration in the light bulb where it looks like that which is cool and then i don't really see much change in this but it's just the lamp post too um which apparently we changed but it looks normal for some reason oh uh, we keep them on all year round so and then we got this pumpkin ghost and i have the same thing going back up the stairs we got this um this is a bigger pumpkin ghost i got years ago um but, uh, I got this at Dollar General, and, uh, Dollar General's really cheap, because you want to know how much I got this for? Literally one buck. Yeah, they sell this, which is actually pretty cool. They sell this for only one buck, so that's how cheap it is there, which is why I kind of like it. Like, I don't like it too much, but, um, that's the reason why I kind of like it, uh, which it, um, because it's cheap. And, uh, yeah. And then the last dude is this demon thing. What do you call it? Skeleton demon? I don't know. 